Uh, this hair makes me look five years younger. Hello my fellow amateur artists. Now last week I posted on my YouTube channel what you wanted for a video. I gave you four options and the one option that I thought would get the least amount of votes turned out to get over 50% of the entire poll. So thank you for forcing me to buy something for this video. They said do a Bob Ross tutorial. Now for those of you who don't know who Bob Ross is, what are you doing? You should know he had a show back in the 80s, I'm 90% sure, and he... Fuck off. Who's calling? Like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by Brian, Bob Ross is famous for his tutorials on YouTube, and there was a trend on YouTube where a lot of people would recreate one of his tutorials by following the video. And y'all really thought that I could do the same thing, and let me tell you, I chose not to do that today. And I'm gonna preface this by putting this in big letters right on the screen. I am not trying to offend Bob Ross or any of his followers, period. There are three reasons why I'm not following one of his tutorials today. Number one, attempting to even recreate one of his paintings is doing a disgrace on him because I'm the one doing it. Number two, it's been done by so many people in so many types of ways that there is no point in me doing it, frankly. But thirdly, and most important of all, there is another artist I had in mind. People say Bob Ross is important to them because of the nostalgia it gives them. But like a true Gen Z wannabe, I also have a nostalgic artist I looked up to as a child. And he goes by the name Squidward Q Tentacles. He has made many pieces in his life, most of which are very underappreciated, and I am here to bring light to one of his most famous works. And he calls it bold and brash. So today, I'm gonna do something bold. I'm gonna do something brash, and I'm going to recreate Squidward Tentacles Bold and Brash. Season 2, episode 26. I, that was a lie. Not for ages 0 to 3. Oh, we can't do this, guys. Cancel the whole tutorial. I'm underage. Ah! We're gonna break it before we even get to the tutorial part, right? Maybe it's not a good idea to do it on the carpet of an apartment I'm about to move out of, but we're gonna do it anyway. Alright, I have a very sturdy palette right here. 12 acrylic paints. Allegedly these are very pigmented. I have six brushes, one 11 by 4 canvas, and a a toy. Uh, let me figure out how to set this contraption up. Now you get to see the full scene. And uh, my pants. It snowed yesterday, okay? I'm in the spirit. Alright, we're set in place and we are still not on the screen. Okay. Backing up. Alright, so I'll put the tutorial I'm going off of in the description below. You'll need some water as well as a palette to mix the colors. Water, you say? Okay, let's start. It's a mixture of yellow, the light flesh tone, the light and white. flesh tone, and white. And you can work as you would expect it, bold and brash. <laughs> I need a reference picture. Okay, so Squidward's original painting is very, um, we can say blotchy. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't know why I bought paint because I have. A lot of brushes in here I have a whole batch of yellow because this yellow is lemon yellow and it's not really the kind of yellow in Squidward's. That's a good sound. We're going to lay down some white and they also said a peach color. What is peach? Peach is like pinkish reddish so I'm gonna put like one drop of this vermilion inside um maybe this wasn't the best idea to mix it in here but i think we do have a good foundation okay we're gonna work boldly and brashly so this is a tiny ass brush it's gonna take forever it's a little more dark on this side but first i want to get this base color all the way throughout the f picture yeah this is gonna take like a really long time now that i think about it you know what Mm-hmm. Bold. <laughs> Gotta go swiftly, like Bob Ross once did. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm really liking this color so far. It's a nice sunset. I have already used up all of my base color. I don't think I can cover this whole canvas. There's a hair stuck in here. Get out. That's what happens when you buy cheap brushes and not get Bob Ross's brand. To all the artists out there who are probably already typing in the comments, you're doing it wrong, Frederick. I know that. 
You don't need to tell me twice. All right, I'm starting to get the brash feeling here. Yes, yes, yes. Paint like a god, Frederick. Bless this painting. Beat the devil on it. This is already looking pretty good. There's some white here. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh blend, please. A little more. I don't know if Bob Ross would approve of this, but it's okay. His standards are way up here and I am not even on the board. Bold, Frederick. Bolder. Okay, so far, I like my base. I would like a little more white here and white here, because in the original it's like that. So we're gonna do something bold. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we might have just really messed up here. And a little more yellow right here. I'm shaking the whole canvas, it's about to fall over. I just used half the tube already, what the heck? No, I need you, I really need you. Maybe we should try doing that, like layering. Yes, I think this is working. Okay, I'm okay with this. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we will get to his portrait. Two hours later. <sighs> All right, so my painting has been drying. Based off of my fingers, it is completely dry, or 90%. So now we must begin the actual, you know, portrait part. And this tutorial really thinks that you can cheat by using a piece of paper and a cutout. Well, here on my channel, we're not gonna do that because we're real men. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna freehand this with a mechanical pencil because I am not scared of failure. Um. Okay. Oh no, Beach. Oh. Oh no. I forgot that it's re Is this erasable though? Sort of. Okay. This is a little scary to do. Um, just freehanding. So I think I'm gonna do this off camera and get back to you. Oh, this is all types of wrong. No one should have to erase on an acrylic painting. I forgot that I'm not good at drawing either. So like... I don't know what to do. Ugh, do you see it? I think I finally got there. Also, I just realized how hunched back I am. I'm already gonna suffer from back pain because of school. This is not help. YouTube, you're the other reason. I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna be able to make this color and shade it because in the video, they just used their cutout, like a pussy. I'm just gonna go off of the picture now and I'm gonna see if I can't take Viridian Hooker's Green Hookers. Hmm. Interesting. Ultramarine blue. This isn't mixing that much. Ooh, look at that color though. She's vibrant. She is here. Paint is also a she now. Okay, I wanted just a little bit more green. Just a little bit. Just a little hooker green. That's dark. Oh my god, what kind of hooker are you? This is like black. Wait. If I put it on, I'm not gonna be able to see my outlines anymore. Oh no, that means I have to do another layer. Uh... Wait, why is it drawing to a darker color? No. 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 <sighs> I'm gonna start sweating and it's winter. I should have gotten a thinner brush for this. But there's no going back and this is still not opaque. All right, so I mixed white and yellow together. Hopefully make just a lighter color to blend in. Okay, his arm's gonna be a little thick because I made it that way by accident. Oh, 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 straight lines. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a really long line that I just did and my body did not appreciate that. All right, that's the extent of what I have right now. I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight to it. I said just a small amount to give it some dimension and you are not listening to me. I'm just gonna add a little more, just a little bit more shading up here. Put on here. Oh no! Oh, his arm's even thicker now. Please don't. Please no. Please no! Oh, I have to go back with other paint now. Alright, so basically, I'm never gonna finish this painting. You might as well unsubscribe now because by the time this video is uploaded, I'll be dead. Okay, my camera is dying because I've been doing this for literally an hour, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna do some of this by myself. One eternity later. Okay, so after... So many different blending techniques. I bet someone's already said it in the comments, you can delete it now. But like from here down, the blending is kind of shit. And I thought to myself, why? 
Why is it? And I realized it was because I put 65 layers on here. And then I thought, Frederick, why don't you use your brain for once and like layer the colors while you're doing the first layer. And that's why this part looks so much more better. So part of me can either redo all this shit or just leave it be because I'm done. So we're gonna go to the last step, which is making the eye. And the eye is like yellowish, whitish. All right, so my camera's a bitch and wanted to turn off on me, but let me just show you what we got so far. See, like, my blending ain't that good. But if you step far away, it looks perfect, so that's all I need. All I have to do now is add the eye and just trim it up. Okay, so for the eye, I'm sensing like a black brown moment. So we gonna mix raw umber and a little bit of burnt sienna. And all I have to do is make one swift line. So it looks like that. That's the outline. Nice, 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 nice. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay, I'm fine with that. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry and then we have to outline it and then after we outline, we are fully done. Okay, so it seems like this is the smallest brush I have. Let's see here, folks. Okay. This is gonna take me a while. No! Okay, okay, I made another mistake. Okay, it's fine. A few minutes later. Oh my god. After four hours of setting everything up, painting, letting it dry, struggling, internally crying, I have finished my freaking painting. I present to you, bold and brash. No, we gotta get up close for this. And let me make sure I don't sit my ass on some paint. Look at her. Look at this beauty. I'm actually proud of it. I just don't want to look at it closely because then I'll get upset of the mistakes I made. Oh my god. I'm just going to fall asleep. Literally, look at my hands. There's paint all over them. I don't know how Bob Ross does this. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave a comment down below about what you want to see next that isn't a fucking art tutorial and subscribe because it posts videos every saturday and vlogs sometimes other days i love you guys and everything is less than three and i'm gonna take a shower now because like look at all of this Whoa.